Today, we continue to mourn the loss of a legendary coaching force in the Southern Illinois community. SIU Basketball Hall of Fame and MVC Hall of Fame coach Rich Heron passed away late Christmas Day at the age of 87. Starting in 1960, Heron spent 25 years leading Benton Boys Basketball High School team to 521 wins. The gym inside Benton named the Rich Heron Gymnasium after he left. Heron then made the jump from high school to Division I basketball, coaching the Salukis for 13 seasons, completely transforming and rebuilding the program, leading SIU to the NIT, its first postseason appearance in 12 years, guiding the program to three straight Missouri Valley Conference tournament wins, only three-peat in league history, and to SIU's first NCAA tournament appearance in 16 years. Those close to Heron spoke of the remarkable man that he was. The first overnight trip that I ever went on was, was when I was 12 years old. Our, our family didn't go on vacation much, and, and he took us to uh, Sweetwater, Tennessee, to basketball camp, and we spent five days there. Um, my dad was a teacher at the high school. Uh, I grew up wanting to be a Benton Ranger, like so many kids in Benton did, and uh, Coach Heron had a lot to do with that. Former Saluki basketball player Matt Wynn said he took numerous life lessons away from Heron long after he had finished playing under him. I never saw him defeated. We won a lot of games together. We lost some tough games together as a player um, and a coach, but he, he could always pick himself up off the mat and, uh, and come back and be ready to compete the next day. That's something that I think all of us that played for him have, have learned from him. I really try to uh, simulate a little bit of what he did on the sidelines, you know, trying to know that, you know, I want to, I want to do, I want to, I want to give those kids as much as energy that I can. I want to care for those kids out there. I want them to uh, play as hard as they can. And, and, you know, just not the kids that are playing again. It's, it's the kids that are on the bench and, and interact with those kids on the bench that don't get to play all that much or don't play hardly at all. He still had relationships to his whole team. And I think that's so important for a program. I think to keep the, keep, keep, keep the kids interested, keep the relationships going. It's one of those things you, I walked in every day to go to practice or go to school and I walked, there's a big picture of him. And, and you know, it's one of those things that, Coach set the standard of excellence so high at Benton that you try to attain that every day. Uh, it doesn't always happen, but but he, he set the standard not only as a coach, but as a person and how he dealt with people. And uh, that, that's something that I want his legacy to be is is the time that he took um, with people and, and, and young coaches and tried to make them as successful as they possibly could. And, and that's something that I hope all of us that were touched by coach can continue on in the future. He lived life, you know, he got up in the morning and his eyes popped open and, and he just went, he had a, such a passion for basketball and he used basketball to make, make us better people. Um, and he was, I do not think of coach right now. Um, I, yes, he was my basketball coach, but he was my friend. And, and I'll, I'll say this, and I, I think all the players could say this, he was always our coach, but he's forever our friend. Rich is survived by his wife, Sue, and his four children. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his entire family and the community as a whole.